hello so this chicken that i had thought out i was initially going to use it in a slow cooker recipe but since i'm running out of time and i need to meal prep this for tomorrow i'm just going to add it to this pot there's some little bit of bacon fat in there and i'm just gonna cook these in there so that it'll be a lot quicker than the slow cooker so i seasoned these bone and chicken thighs with some ancho chile powder and some salt I just cook these in this pot until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit near the bone. And like I told you guys, I was in a little bit of a time crunch, so I just shredded up this chicken and added about half a cup of peas to this plate and also cooked up some rice to go along with it for my husband. So last week I batched cooked a lot of collard greens and I didn't get to finish them up so here I am going to freeze them up and put them on a sheet pan so that I am able to grab out however much I need for whatever meal that I want. It's a very convenient way to add in a cup or two cups of dark leafy greens to your foods. I like to reuse these cups that come in this minute rice packets. They're very sturdy and I am able to wash them in the dishwasher. What I've been doing with the cups is keeping them, putting them in the dishwasher, and then I add them to the Ziploc bags. That way I know what a serving size is because they do approximately contain about one cup. So it's a good way to keep track of how much fruit I'm intaking, how much vegetables I'm intaking. For this week, I just ended up eating some of that shredded chicken that I made for my husband. And as you guys saw, it was pretty easy to pull together because I used up some of the frozen ingredients I already have on hand, like the collard greens, the lentil, and there's always rice hanging out in my fridge. So I just added all of those ingredients together, put it in the microwave, and just topped it with any dressing I was feeling like. I have a couple of different ones in my fridge. So that is what I ended up eating for the meal prep for the week. On one of the days during the week, we stopped at Walmart. My husband wanted a couple of snacks. So, so I always take the opportunity to check the fish or meat section to see if there's any good deals in which I can pick up on. And I found this salmon. And I also saw that some bread was on clearance as well. Now, both of these items were not past their best buy date, so it was perfectly safe to grab them. For the weekend breakfast, I decided to defrost some chorizo I had in my freezer. I'm going to be making huevo con chorizo and I'll be using up the bolillos that I got on clearance, as well as one of the can of refried beans that I also got on clearance. So I actually forgot to film a clip of me cooking the salmon that I bought on clearance. You can hear it in the background. So I just wanted to show you another quick little salad I built up. I used the frozen lentils, frozen collard greens, and some frozen corn. I'm gonna heat those up in the microwave. And I will also add some fresh rice that I cooked up. So here is a completed plate of my corn, collard green, lentil, rice, salmon, and even a little bit of cabbage that I still had in my fridge. I will top this off with some sunflower seeds and a little bit of salad dressing. How much should I put? How much you want? Oh no, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> no, don't get nervous. 